Some state officials call Indiana the state that works, but a couple of layoff notices got our newsroom asking questions. Steve Brown tells us about these layoffs and checks in with an economist who's been watching Indiana's job market. Steve? Generally, the Indiana economy shows signs of real strength. Among them, unemployment continues to hover statewide around 3%, but recently there have been some layoff notices. Come September, Senveo will close its facility in southeast Indianapolis. All layoffs will be permanent and will idle 127 workers. Another 170 employees at FedEx Supply Chain Inc. will lose their jobs by the end of August. Companies like FedEx can certainly be sort of a bellwether because if they're seeing less activity, it could be a sign of a broader slowdown. Kyle Anderson at the IU Kelly School of Business says Hoosiers should not read too much into the recent layoff announcements. I think this is more a blip on the radar screen. Overall, hiring is good. The, the economy is still strong. It, it is slowing down, and I think our employers are taking notice of that. A national recruiting firm, Peak Sales Recruiting, has a bit of a different take. Using U.S. Labor Department data, it ranked job markets by state. Indiana landed in the middle of the pack, just the 25th best state job market. And something else to consider. The number of people with jobs in Indiana has been relatively unchanged for over a year. But the good news with that is there are job openings out there and, and hopefully anyone who's displaced will, will find something as good or better in a relatively short amount of time. The next check on the state economy comes out on Friday. That's when unemployment figures for June are expected to be released. Steve Brown, Fox 59 News.